Welcome back to the House of Fins. My name is Danny and I'm going to walk you through some of the really cool things we have in this week. All right, first up we have the Longhorn Cowfish. These cute little guys, uh, they look cute right now, but they're actually going to max out around like 22 inches, so they definitely get huge. Uh, definitely a fish only tank fish. They're probably not going to mess with coral, but I wouldn't put it past them potentially doing so. Um, we have highlighted these guys before, but whenever they come in, they're worth talking about just because they're so cute. They look like little drones uh, and their horns get huge as they get bigger. Uh, when they send us full grown ones, they literally have to put corks on the tips of the horns just to make sure they don't pop the bags. Um, so they're just a really cute little character that uh, I think would be awesome for any fish only tank system. Alrighty, next up we have the Mimic Filefish. These little guys are gonna max out around four inches. Uh, they are specifically evolved to mimic the Valentini puffer fish, which we actually do have in here as well to give you an idea as to how closely similar they look to each other. Um, the reason why they do this is because the Valentini puffer is actually poisonous. So the, uh, the, the file fish basically disguises itself so uh, other predators will think that they are, uh, they are also poisonous. Um, they can be even seen schooling in the wild with, uh, with groups of Valentini puffers, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're probably not going to be reef safe. I wouldn't recommend keeping them with coral. Um, and uh, they will enjoy eating meaty foods like mice and brine trap. All right, next up we have the blue striped pipefish. These little adorable little fish can be found all throughout the Indo and Eastern Pacific. They're going to max out around two to three inches, so they stay nice and tiny for you. They're very peaceful, uh, although they can be territorial to towards the same sex. Um, you can keep them in either pairs or harems. Um, they are sexually dimorphic as well as they get older. Uh, you can really determine it based off of body shape. Um, they are relatives to seahorses, so the males will carry the young in a pouch. Um, and they have been observed to even pick parasites off of larger fish. Um, they're a great option for a reef tank um, and seahorse only tanks as well. They're gonna be very peaceful, like I said. Um, you know, lower flow and uh, smaller food options for them as well. But other than that, they're going to be a great option uh, for most small fish tanks. Alrighty, last but most certainly not least, we have the Hailstorm Clownfish. This is one of the newer color forms of clownfish to come out as of late. They're a derivative of the Ocellaris Clownfish. Uh, there's just a lot of white on them with those black spots, really makes them stand out. An awesome option for your reef tanks. Uh, but this is just kind of scratching the surface of all of the clownfish that we have today. We're just gonna take you all over the place. We're just gonna go all over. We're just gonna go from here, yup. We have some little black ice ones over here. We go up top, yup. We have some really adorable little tomatoes up there, or maroons. We have these little guys right here, absolutely adorable. We're not done yet. We're gonna keep going. We have some true perculas right there, an awesome pair, uh, yup all of the standard oscillaris so many of them we even have the black oscillaris tons of those too a nice alternative uh, we have these little guys in here some more black ice absolutely awesome uh, we have little gladiators in here tons of them so many we have some more gladiators next door a pair of them really cool um, we even, we're not done there though, we even have some wild types, we have some Clarkies, or Saddlebacks right up top, so many. We have Wyoming Whites down here, nice little group of those, and we're going all, we're going all the way across. We're doing a little transition right now, all the way to some Skunk Clowns. Really, really cute, awesome alternative to your typical Perculas and Ocellaris. And just a really, really cute and awesome option. And these are all the clownfish that we pretty much have right now. We even have more. We're not done there. We have that cute little saddle right there. We have a, like a tennis ball size Clarky somewhere in here. Uh, just, just so many clownfish right now. It's definitely worth coming down and taking a look at all of the awesome options that we have right now. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in for this week's video. Be sure to leave a like as well as following us on all of our social media platforms, be it Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll see you next week. Thank you.